just finished viewing on uh, a, online a hungry, hungry caterpillar show. It was a reading of the book, and now we're going to make the hungry, hungry caterpillar beautiful butterfly. Because in the very end, he turns into the butterfly. Here's a picture of our, our hungry, hungry caterpillar that we drew together. So if you are interested in how to draw the hungry caterpillar, I also have a video on that. But for today, we're gonna to be going ahead and doing the butterfly. So we're gonna take our paper now, and we're gonna go, if you looked in the center of our butterfly is the body of the butterfly. And then we'll do the head. So I'm gonna find the middle of my page. So I look to see from top to bottom, and then I go from side to side, and I find the exact center. And I'm gonna jump up above the center and I'm gonna do a circle. So here's the middle, my fingers on the middle of the page. I'm just gonna go above the middle and do a circle. Do you see the circle? It's almost the same size as my fingernail. So make sure yours is big enough to be your fingernail, but not too big. Today I have with me some kindergarten kids. So most of us are five and six. So now we're gonna go down. We're gonna go down, a straight line down, and I slightly curved it a little bit. Now did I go down a little bit or a long ways? Pretty much long, but look at the bottom of my page. I still have some down here, don't I? So I went down, and if you want to measure, look what I did. If you take your fingers to the side, you can measure with your fingers. That's about four fingers down. Now I'm going to go back up. So now I have the body of the butterfly. Insects have head, and then they also have a, a thorax here. So we can put a little line to show head, thorax, and abdomen. If we want to get really fancy. Now, I'm going to do two. Anybody know the name of this? Antennas. Antennas. Excellent. So we're going to draw up and curve over. We can get fancy and put a little circle on the end of the antenna. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go up and curve to the left. Put a little circle on the end if you want to. Now we're gonna do the wings. We want one on each side. How about if we do this? Let's find the head. We go below the head to the thorax. We're gonna go out, and I'm gonna just do a big circle over here. See how I jumped over and put a big circle? <coughs> Now I'm gonna go to the other side, and I'm gonna go, you can even measure with your hand. How big there? That way you have it how big here. So I'm about three fingers, and I'm gonna put a circle here. You can either measure with your hand, or you can just guess on, and have it equally apart, or as close to equal as you can. Now the next step is easy. We're just going to go below the head. We're going to go, now watch me first before you do it, okay? I'm coming out and I'm going slowly around. It's almost like I'm driving a car. Around that circle. Look what I've done. Now I'm going to come back in a little bit, back to the body. But did I stop at the same place I started? No, I went down a little bit. So watch my shape again. Out, around that circle, and back to the body, but a little bit lower. Okay, do that now. Now can somebody predict what we're gonna do on the other side? Yes, sir. Um, same thing. Same thing. So I come out just below the head, I'm going slow, I'm going around this circle, and I'm ending right where I started. 
a little bit below where I started. So I've got two. Now I'm gonna put another decorative design on my butterfly wings. So I'm gonna come from below this wing, see the circle? I'm just gonna come around, almost like I'm forming the letter C. See that? Let's do the same on the other side. And when we do the same on both sides, it's called symmetrical, but I'm making this backwards instead. So if I curve this way, I want the curve, the end of the curve to be near the edge of the page. So I'm gonna start this way, curve toward the edge of the page. See the end is curving this way. Curve around. So now I have the same, and I'm going back to the body. Back to the body. Now the last wing, this is part of the same wing in here actually, but my last wing is gonna come out. So I'm coming a little bit in from here. So from my letter C, come over a bit, and I'm gonna come diagonally down. So from this wing, I come almost to the middle, diagonally down, it's a curve lying down. Same on both sides. Then I'm going around, curving around. It almost forms the letter. If I tilt it to the side, what's this letter look like? J. It's a backwards J, but if I just look at it this way, it's almost a U curve. I call this a U curve. It could be a backwards letter J. Let's look this way. This does almost look like a J this way. Or if we just look at it down this way, it's a U curve. Anybody predict where this line's going? Back to the body. Exactly, back to the body. Now I'm not having an end at the t bottom here, just a little bit below that. So now I have two wings. Now mine's a little crooked, that's okay. When we add all our designs, it won't show anyways. On the inside, let's decorate this. Let's do a circle on this side, a circle on this side. And then this one has a little bit more of a design, almost like a giant eye shape. So we come off the circle and we go, it's a slight curve, a curve, and then we curve back. So it's a shape that's drawn around this circle. Inside here, I'm gonna make another loop. It's gonna come off, around, and back. Off of here, down, around, and back. These are just little designs. Now we're gonna do these smaller dots here. A small dot here. A small dot here. Bigger dot here. Bigger dot here. And then we can give a line inside here too. I just do a curve and a curve. Now of course you can decorate, add more lines and whatnot to your butterfly after. But I do wanna put the butterfly on this giant sunflower. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna, I wanna make a circle. So if you have something uh, at home you can trace with or use a circle tracer, look at this. I can even use a piece of tape to circle trace. Or I can use a, this is, we may have these here. I love these with my kids. These right here. Now when you trace, watch what you're gonna trace. Now I don't wanna line this up to my antennas. I wanna come a little bit above the antennas. So you don't wanna cross over your antennas. But watch what I'm gonna do first and then you can do it. You can hand draw this or just find something to trace. Like I said, I'm gonna trace, now don't do it yet. I'm gonna trace from the butterfly wing and I'm gonna stop at the wing. I don't want to trace on top of my butterfly wings. I'm going to come below, let me lift it up so you can see, and I'm going to go from this side of the wing 
to this side. Then when I pull it off, you can see he'll be sitting on this circle. Now I do see some shape here. This should be right here. Let's see, in between the wing, I can just add a little line. There. Now, I'm gonna give you a few minutes to trace that, and then we're gonna add the flower petals. So the flower petals are gonna come out, okay? Right here. And we're gonna form, watch this. They come out and around. Okay, so if you want to pause the video, you can. Once you have this traced, we're going to add some flower petals to come out. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to start from the flower and go out. This is diagonally up and out, and on this side, diagonally up and out. And I'm going to go right off the page. I want my lines to come out. So I'm going to put several lines coming out from the center, this circle. So this diagonally up this way, diagonally up to the right. This is going to come diagonally to the left. Now I'm going to turn my paper. That way I can form the rest of the flower petal. I can come back down and back down. See how that's forming the petal? I'm going to come around and around this line. It's forming a flower petal. I skip over, up, up. So this will be the flower petal. This is the background of the sky. Here's my flower petal here. Let's put a little line in the middle so you can see it better. Now I'm going to turn my page so that the flower petals come up and then they can come around this. So this is a curve around the straight line. I'm gonna do one right here. So I do a straight line. Now I'm gonna curve around, starting close, come out with my curve and back. And I'm gonna turn my paper as I do the petals. Straight line, and then it curves around and it curves out and back to the center of the flower. So this is the center of the flower. Now I'm upside down. So I can do some straight lines, a straight line here and a straight line here, going right off the page. Now I'm gonna curve around each line, out and back, and go right off the page. We don't see the rest of the flower petal. Let me show you. The flower petal, if I had a bigger page, you see how it goes off the page? This flower petal would be nice and long like that. You see that? But I don't have any room, so I go, I just go right off the page. Now I'm gonna form this flower petal. So it would be just like this. I would have a big curve, big curve. This is what it would look like if I had a lot of room at the bottom of my page. But I don't, so I'm only using a little bit of it. Turn, let's do another curve. Start near the line, out and curve. Curve the opposite, near the line. And I'm gonna continue going around the whole thing. I'll do one here, just give it a little bit of a curve. Oh, well, that should come all the way down. And then I'm going to do one from here. So there's a flower petal here. And then there's one right here. So now I have the butterfly sitting on a beautiful sunflower. And you can decorate and paint this any way you want. Now today, I have some five-year-olds with me. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what they made today. And after the examples, you can see how I finished my butterfly. And these were five-year-olds. And they did a really great job. And next week, we're going to go ahead, and this child did it vertically. And next week, we're going to go ahead and paint these in with some tempera paints.
this was a, um, a regular size kindergarten class. And I'm gonna show you a couple more, let's see. And some of them did it smaller. There's one that's a little bit smaller. little examples. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments how yours came out and if you haven't already subscribed I would love for you to be part of my group. First I painted a base coat on the larger parts of the butterfly and then I did the yellow pattern on the Sun once I finished all the patterns on the butterfly. Once the yellow was done, then I did the background and I added some more detail to the butterfly. And the last thing I added was the black outline of the butterfly and some detail on the flower with some black paint. Always make sure you use your black last. Hope you enjoy the video.